Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is your weekend reading, Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now, Scorpio. Ooh, you've got an Ace of Cups. Before I start, Scorpio, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for the love. Thank you, thank you. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button in the bell. Please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. This is a very Scorpio-friendly channel because I'm a Scorpio. And um, yeah, before I start Scorpio, I would like to announce to be very careful and be very vigilant. There is an Instagram scammer that is going around and um, offering private reading. So make sure that you're following the correct Instagram account. To check the correct Instagram account, I invite you to check the website, sunshine-tv.com. The correct username is in there. Also, Scorpio, I've got another channel. Uh, the name of the channel is Scorpio Morning Star. It is an exclusive Scorpio channel. All the videos is about um, Scorpio because I'm a Scorpio. So if you're interested, please follow me there as well. And what else? Yes. And yes, Scorpio, I have uploaded today a special reading um it is based on the affirmation that i'm getting today and um, if you're interested to pick up more intuitive message i suggest to go and visit the website it is the recent post okay or i'll put the link down the description description box below so what's the message for you scorpio and i don't offer a private reading please please okay not right now three channels 250,000 subscribers some kind of busy 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 What's coming towards Scorpio, please, in weekend reading, weekend vibe, in love, general, and um, whatever we can get, whatever significant message that is meant for Scorpio to know this weekend, please, okay? I'm not reading reversals, so, wow, look at that, the lover's card in upright position. Well, everything should be in upright anyway. You've got the manifestation, yes. I'm hard on this. I've been manifesting lately. What is my next project? I'm resonating. And then you've got here the change two of this. Okay. Let's clarify the two of cups. Okay. The two of cups, it, it actually fall into the blue calcite. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it properly. But I remember my first... Um, my first crystal spell i did it using this stone okay so i give you all of the magic i've got that you my fellow loving scorpio friends family may you have all the love that you deserve okay so yes let's manifest that you know whether it's a romantic love it's a friendship love a family love first love is a self-love and then I clarify the Two of Cups, you've got friendship, like what I said, and the Sun card. The reason why the, my channel is named Sunshine is because Sun. Sun is you. Uh, the center of your universe is you. The rest are secondary. So you feed your soul and your body, your mental, your spirituality with the good things in life, with the loving energy, and the rest will follow. Friendship. You've got a reunion. Um, you've got a new opportunity towards love, Scorpio. You're very happy. This is contentment. A happy partnership is within the horizon for you. There's a new love coming for you or things are getting better in terms of your romantic situation. But for most of you guys, I really feel like after May 11, there is a new love opportunity for you that will make you happy, contented. You don't really expect this to be coming for some of you. A very bright, shiny, you know, if you look at the two of cups in here, this could be a reconciliation, a clear cut diamond. I'm seeing that you could be getting some sort of a um, engagement, but look at that. You and this person sparkly. So there's some sort of renewal, but I'm really getting like it's more of brand new. You'll start as friends. And then things is going to fall into places. Um, you could be long distance. You could meet this online. But you've got 
an ability to see them face to face. It could be interstate for some of you. But pretty much what I'm channeling here, Scorpio, is that you got a Two of Cups moment next week. Um, I don't think it could 20 to 30 percent of you. It is coming from the past. But most of you guys, it is coming from someone new friendship. Yeah, really good energy. Ooh, Seven of Swords. They will stalk you. On the first meeting, on the first meeting, they will stalk you. You would see them recommended in social media account. They will stalk you, Scorpio. 20, 20 to 30% of you guys, it could be a renewal of someone in the past. But pretty much 70% of you, I'm getting like after May 11 onwards, there's a new love, incoming opportunity, incoming call. They will stalk you first. Ten of Wands. Hmm. They carry with them some sort of insecurity. All right. This new lover or this past person, they're quite insecure. They're stalking you and they're quite insecure to come forward. But eventually, they will resurface. Um, Because there's a lot of hidden energy in here. Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. They're quite... Um, they're very, they find you very mysterious and sexy. Um, there's a drawback. It's that they're quite insecure. They have a lot of baggage in the past. But it's a, it's the last part of that. If this was an ex or a past person, they're starting to lift. You know, um, the, the energy between the two of you is going to be lifted. It's, it's, more, it's getting better. It's getting better and better, okay? Because if you look at the Seven of Swords, looking at the sun. So if this is a person in the past or a current relationship or connection that's being challenged, I see you guys, things are going to get better. Uh, from now up until May 11 and 11 of May onwards, it's going to be fantastic. Most especially if this is a new lover. They're not perfect. Seven of Swords, Ten of Wands. There's something with their approach that is quite, in the beginning, it is quite inconsistent. But eventually, Ten of Wands, they will push through. They will remove all the boundaries and they won't be shy. Because, um, you know, there's a strong pull towards you together. Very magnetic. Okay. Um, it is... Yeah, it is a person who has been through in life and they're they're done with um fooling around, you know, pretty much for some of you it's already mature. Seven of swords. Seven of swords, ten of wands, you know, it's like a um a player that become a lover, you know. They're coming to a stage of their life that they want something serious. Okay. If this is a past person. May 11 onwards, I see them really trying to be a better person for you. So don't judge them. Um, yeah, look at the bright side of things. I feel like they have something, if this is someone in the past, they have something new to offer you. If this is a new person, explore. Okay, explore, enjoy uh, one, step at a, one step at a time. Don't be... Um, don't be dismayed if you have discovered in their something in their past. Their their past it doesn't define them. Their whole personality, their whole life. Okay, there's something in the in their past that is quite, I don't know, challenging or questionable. Um, give them a benefit of the doubt. People change. Okay. And then you've got manifestation, and this falls in my happy crystal. So dream, dream big, Scorpio. Um, May 11, Taurus New Moon, No Limits, Dream Big, okay? Um, this came out, yeah, look at that. For some of you, you have this solid, um, for some of you, creative Scorpio, Scorpio who has this creative flair, a hunger to put up a business, to look for a new job, or a hunger or thirsty to change how you look, improve your vitality, the physical, the mental, how you take care of your mindfulness, your physical activity, the way you eat, the way you sleep. Um, make a pack to your, to your universe, sorry. Um, higher fun. You know, the universe is waiting for you. The universe is receptive of your manifestation, okay? Uh, Taurus, New Moon, May 11, manifest 
um, whatever you want to focus on and the universe will receive your requests and it will be heard. Manifest. The Prince of Wands. Creativity, business, improving how you look and mindfulness. For some of you, if you've been in a toxic relationship or toxic um, work, it's time to really for you to manifest a new job, a new person. It's about renewal. Um, it's about you connecting in your inner self to bring out that passion towards a new journey, a new business, a new, it's like a homecoming, a dream big Scorpio, okay? And then you've got here the two of disc change. This is related to relationship, justice card. It's time for a change. So if you have been neglected or you have not been taken care of the people that's supposed to take care of you or support you or if you feel like Scorpio you've been pleasing people around and you're you've been giving you know like a pro bono <laughs> you have provided a lot of pro bono to people it is time to get your power back and to focus on yourself you know look at that you need to to give justice your to yourself this is you okay this is you hold the sword put a stop on giving it's time to give back to yourself. Give back to yourself, okay? I don't know. I feel like you're very tired. You've been of service to the world, to a person, to a situation. This is the quartz crystal. It's time to love yourself, okay? It's it's asking you this weekend to do something great for yourself, okay? It's time to stop offering yourself for people, situation that is not unavailable. That is unavailable, sorry. And you've got here, I'm not, yeah, stability. If you want stability, then focus on you. Stability. Is stability is here. Scorpio, start with yourself and the rest will follow you, okay? You are such a giver in this energy. You give, you give and you give and you give and you forgot yourself. Um... So that's you. This is your reading, Scorpio. This is your weekend reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I hope to see you soon again. I'm seeing 222. Have a great week, guys. And don't forget to check the website because we've we've uploaded a pretty much interesting um, video for you to watch. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Beware of the scammer. Bye.